everyone, it's Steve from B&H Photo, and I'm here at NAB in 2014, and I'm talking with Jeremy Young, the guy, the visionary at Atomos. Thanks a lot, man. Well, it's true. It's a team effort, I know that. You've got great engineers, great partners, it's a great company, and you guys have brought out the bomb? The Shogun. The Shogun. The gun of the show, as we said on the, <laughs> out the front. Yeah, it's a 1920 uh, 1920-1200 screen. 1920-1200 <clears throat> screen, so that's really great. You've got lots of room underneath yes, yeah, for, 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 for details and information. And, and controls, and etc. All touch screen. We're recording to 4K Apple ProRes or Cinema DMG in RAW. Right, up to 30 frames per second. 4K 30p, yeah. 4K 30p. And tell me about what other frame rates it does and what other formats? Yeah, so we do um, HD 24 all the way through to 120 frames a second in HD. We do 720p um, up to 120 frames a second. And we also do um, we also, we also also do 4K 24, 25, and 30. So it's really versatile. It's got everything up 4K. Can't really do above 30 frames per second right now at 4K. No, no, there's nothing to record it to. Um, it goes out into the air. Goes out of the air, no problem. <laughs> but you can't view it again. But we've got what are the the inputs outputs? You've got 12G SDI out. Yeah, inputs. so we've got we've got um, 4K <coughs> HDMI in and out, and then we've got 12 gig SDI in and out, and a Gen Lock so you can go to your studios. So I can work independent, and then if I want to work with the other camera, multi camera situation, I've got the Gen Lock for for this. Yeah. So it fits into the broadcast transport Yeah, for screen. play out. Obviously the camera's giving us a gen lock signal right. if it's in a studio environment, but then when you hit play, and the, the guy in the in, in the think tank want, wants you to play this file, then it, it's all synced up. Beautiful piece of engineering. It's one more thing, XLR. Only one more thing. No, there are a few more than one. There are a few more. X XLR. XLR and uh, Phantom and Mike Balance XLR on a Limo breakout cable. So we could, we could keep it nice and thin, didn't have to put the connectors in there. So but the nice audio in, an additional audio in. And out. And so out. analog audio in, left and right channel, analog audio out, left and right this channel. This little tiny connector. Correct. And now on the back, you've changed a little bit with, you've got your battery, but your for your drives, that's a little different design. Yeah. Yeah, so there's there's two reasons for that. First one is, um, we, we didn't put the bat. We don't need to put the batteries behind the disc. So it made sense: screen, PCB for the electronics, disc, batteries for the original model. Right. But we've got a lot more real estate with this seven-inch monitor. It's a seven-inch monitor, by the way, which is what everyone's requesting. So this is 325 PPI monitor. Just while I'm talking about the monitor again, which means it's the same resolution as your iPhone, your Samsung. So there's no difference anymore between your pro video kit. Right. and the consumer products you're holding in your hand every day. So the reason this is an open back is we've, we're going to put a dual rated double bay disc, disc system in. And that'll come in the box. You put two one terabyte drives, spinning disc together, you raid them. And when you raid them, you get 4K 30p, two, two tera, which gives you two and a half hours of recording to ProRes 4K. And it's very affordable. Yeah, well, it, it's like 130 to 150 dollars for two of those drives, and which brings it down to like 50 dollars per right per exactly. hour, per of, hour. Record, of recording. And we're not even talking SSDs; we're talking spinning drives. Yeah, and, they, and we also accept SSDs, of course. So you can pay way too much money for your media and use an SSD if you like. But I really like the last 40 years of development in spinning discs. They're super reliable. In our testing, we we thought SSDs would be the bomb, but HD. HDDs have been unbelievably reliable. 90% of our customers use them, we recommend them. But make sure you look at our list of drives on our website right. and get those ones. Absolutely. And then on the technical part, we've got, mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab it for a second, we've got the quarter 20s for mounting. Correct, so correct, quarter 20s, really, yeah, on each really, side. Right, this is really a camera mounted monitor, takes 4K in, gives yes. you an HD screen, correct. touch screen. Correct, correct. That's pretty. With waveform, vector waveform. scope, with monitor assist, all, the, all, all the, the same features that we've got in our current the product. Samurai line. and the blade and the, the ninja. Talking about the ninja. Yes. Something new. I'm gonna take this guy and just hold him for a while. You're gonna tell us about this is the ninja star, yeah. which is that's a big change from you. No screen. No screen. Big request from the drone market and the action cam market. And also from people who already had a monitor. They're like, look, I've already got a monitor. I really love your monitor, but I don't want to upgrade it. It's gonna to be too expensive for me. Or a second and third camera that they've got their big monitor on their big camera and then their DSLR is a second one or a third camera or other cameraman. They're like, I want ProRes, but I don't want to buy a whole nother $1,000 product. Right. So 
So we released this, which is called the Ninja Star, and it's a recorder, playback deck, all in one. Doesn't have the monitor bit. But all the same features <coughs> otherwise. All the same features. Well, maybe not focus peaking. No focus peaking. So anything that's monitor based Base, is, is out, like no vector scopes. Right. No. But hopefully, you're either using a monitor or it's a situation where you don't want a monitor. Right. Like going up in a helicopter, like a little drone helicopter. And so, yeah, this is uh, 295. It's got HDMI in and out with headphones and remote and CFast. CFast, CFast 1.0. Not yet CFast 2. We got. We don't need it. CFast no, 1.0. It supports CFast 2, but you're wasting your money. Right. Because we only need 80 megabytes a second, not 450 like this does. Now on the Shogun, we have an adapter that goes into one of our caddy slots that gives you CFast. Now that's when you're going to want CFast, CFast 2.0 on the 4K. That's why all the manufacturers are loving this, and it's SATA based i.e. the same as your hard disk. You really like SATA. I do. I love SATA. It's cheap, right? affordable, lots of disks. Commodity. Commodity. Everybody's Commodity. Using Commodity. So yeah, that's 295, which gives us obviously a very affordable solution for And yet, even though it's not touchscreen, I've got all the information available on your other, on the Absolutely. Blade. Absolutely. You've got record play, you've got your um, audio level meters, battery status, you've got your time left on the disk, you've got which codec you're using, you can switch between those, you've got 3-2 pull down for 60i signals when you want to record 24. It's got all the stuff that we learn creative people need when they're on the set. Right, but nothing more, and it's great, fits in your pocket, carry it with you. Yep. It's almost like a throwaway, you forget it is. you have it. 3.5 grams, oh, sorry, 3.5 ounces, 3.5 grams would be good. 3.5 ounces and uh, 4.8 ounces if you've got a battery on the back, but some of the drones will have battery for you. So, so that's why I quoted the first one. Yeah. And I want to actually get back to this because yes. this came out and was announced in conjunction with the Sony A7S. That uh, little puppy right, right there. there. And it's sort of like the Sony, we do HD, but we need you to do, to record it outside the camera. In right? 4K. In 4K. So they got 4K output from the, this amazing sensor. I mean, Super 30, oh, it's not a Super 35. Full sorry, frame. Full frame 35. So Spanx a Super 35. 1.6 crop factor out the window. Right, it's no now one factor. to one. You get to use all your great lenses. It's just like film. Finally, we've got a film-based sensor. 12 megapixel, really wide dynamic range. Yeah, it's ISO done. of 400,000. Forget that. So yeah, but 200,000 200, in the dark looks like daylight. Right. We, we've had this camera, we've been testing it, and it's seriously phenomenal. Massive pixels, just like an ARRI, right. so there's lots of light lots coming in, with, light, which is why you get that exposure. And dynamic range. That's Huge dynamic range. S-Log on it. We've got 3D LUTs in here, in here to take that, so you can put S-Log on the camera, S-Log on here, viewing it just like it's a Rec. 709 screen, and beautiful. set up your shop perfectly. It's beautiful. And it's nice that you guys, you and Sony, were able to work together to release at the same time. Yeah, I think, you know, living and working in Japan for seven years and being close to those manufacturers, I'm in there every quarter giving them my roadmap. We're, we're teaming up to provide, we know that these guys make the best sensors in the world. It's a sensor game. Cameras are a sensor game. You can take a crappy sensor and put it in whatever box you want. Right. And you can announce a camera. But that isn't going to compete with the quality of Sony, Canon, and Panasonic. But then you need to record it to you something. You need to record it. And, Atomos. And that's what we, so let them make kick-ass sensors. We'll do the recording bit, and they're now waking up to that fact, and they're coming to us more and more. And we, we love partnering with them. I mean, these are conglomerate companies. Right. To have Sony give you a call in December was like a Christmas present. Right, December. It was, in so December. So December to now, five months, and you got this out the door. Yeah, we were going to release it uh, when it was ready, which is our usual policy. But with them saying we'll announce it together, press release together, conferences here in, at, at NAB showing on their stand. So how soon do we get this? Yeah, it's going to be around IBC timeframe, so September timeframe. I'm hoping to beat that, but we'll see how we go. I don't want to promise too early, because then, and then it goes, this yes. one is mid-May. Mid-May, so where, because I saw Th it. This is close, this is really there. close. This is actually production version of, of the. And we're, we're about September for this. Yep. No promises, but that's what we're thinking. That's cool. Jeremy, thanks a lot. No I really problems. appreciate your time, awesome. sharing your time. I'm Steve from B&H Photo, and we're at NAB 2014 with the Atomos Shogun and Ninja Star. Thanks for watching.